test partner, Dennis. Well, you come through like what you want. You know, something that a lot of people may not know, in six of the eight years they've been pros, they have fought at virtually the same weight. Oscar De La Hoya turned welterweight three years ago, Mosley a year ago. And of course, throughout their amateur careers, it was Mosley who was the heavier fighter, one division north of De La Hoya. And now as Oscar prepares to enter the ring, the crowd will be entertained with a recording from his recently released CD. It's a song called With These Hands, written by veteran ballad songstress Diane Warren. De La Hoya continues to warm in the dressing room. Mosley waits in the ring. The crowd listens to a song they haven't heard before. Most of them probably don't know that they're listening to Oscar De La Hoya singing a ballad about his boxing career because, of course, the lyrics are drowned out by the cacophonous crowd noise in the arena. You're reminded of watching opponents wait in the ring for the lengthy Prince Nassim entrance. And I suspect we'll see more of this in years to come. Mosley is still wearing that smile on his face, which has been there all week. He's anticipated this kind of delay. Oscar De La Hoya is the champion. He gets to do whatever entrance he wants to do. And now the mariachi music as Deloyer prepares to leave the locker room and come in. the hallway the crowd in the arena has been watching his entrance brewing on the jumbotron scoreboard months ago de la hoya opened as a mere seven to five favorite Factoring in his obvious edge in popularity, that was like saying the odds makers thought it was an even fight. His popularity has now led him to be a 13 to 5 favorite, we found out moments ago. Some ringside observers still see Oscar as an unbeaten professional fighter, so many believe he still deserved the decision even after his questionable last four rounds against Trinidad last September. But officially, it's on the record books as a loss.
So Oscar De La Hoya, 32 wins, one loss, 26 KOs, and a brilliant record in championship fights, of which he's already had 12 at age 27. And now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer one more time. in association with Cedric Kushner Promotions and your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser. Always proud to be your bud. Along with TVKO, pay-per-view of HBO, present 12 rounds of boxing for the welterweight championship of the world. This bout is dedicated to the memory of Irving Rudd. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission Chairman Manuel Cal Soto, Vice Chairman Elmer Costa, Commissioners Andrew Kim, Don Novi, and Al Duceni. Also sanctioned by the IBA President Dean Chance and the WBC President Jose Suleiman. The three judges at ringside assigned to score this bout on the 10 point must system are Lou Filippo, Pat Russell, and Marty Salmon. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Dr. Lou Moret. And now, the two best welterweights in the world must step forward to embrace their destiny. From Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver trim, and weighing in at 147 pounds. He brings a perfect professional record to the ring tonight, consisting of 34 bouts, 34 victories, with his punching power eliminating 32 of his opponents by knockout. This evening, he enters this contest as a former champion, having surrendered his lightweight crown by choice and fighting on to be the premier challenger of the welterweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, from Pomona, California, here is the undefeated former lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane Mosley. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trimmed with white letters, and weighing 146 and one half pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1992. And now, as a professional, his record stands at 32 victories with only one loss, that by disputed decision. And he has dispatched 26 opponents inside the distance by knockout, all adding up to five world championships in four divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, from East Los Angeles, presenting the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former junior welterweight, and reigning and defending two-time welterweight champion of the world, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Okay, Oscar, Sugar. Okay, gentlemen, I'm giving you your instructions. Let's keep the punches yeah, up. Let's have a good, uh, clean fight. And listen to my command. Shake hands and wait to go out. Okay. As the legend at ringside, Muhammad Ali, put it, who will dare to be great? Who will be bolder? And who will be tougher? Both fighters have promised knockouts. Both fighters have promised aggression. Mosley was quoted on the cover of a boxing magazine saying, it'll be like the first round of Hagler Hearns. And Mosley comes out pounding away with a straight right hand.
Big right hand by Mosley. Slinging it over the top. De La Hoya trying to get the jab going. Gets, gets rocked by a jab. Oh, no, no, no. Got to understand that De La Hoya has become a great body puncher, so his hands are lower now. He intends to dig those left hooks and chain Mosley's body. But he should wait a while and stand up straight to protect himself before he aims his punches down. Mosley wrapping De La Hoya with two more quick right hands. Shane, the early aggressor, and quicker with his right hand in the early going. De La Hoya trying to get the jab started, and then as George pointed out, he'll look for opportunities to set up his left hook to the body. Mosley has a pretty good left hook to the body as well. Oscar's gonna have to take the spin off of the left jab and just sort of point it at Shane Mosley, because if you spin it, you're gonna miss. Just point it at him with your palms aimed to the floor. You won't miss as much, but as he's spinning it, it's going to cause him to do a lot of missing with the left jab. Perhaps the most important thing that's happened here so far is that Delahoy has been hit by some pretty sharp punches, but keeps coming forward. And this is what Shane Mosley would like. You land the best punches, move away a little bit, set up, and do it again. Delahoy's left eye, which has swelled several times in fights, is pink already from the right hand blows of Shane Mosley and just as I say it Mosley lands another one and another tries to whip the left uppercut inside and that's what you have to deal with as a good seasoned professional and so far Mosley is beating him to the punch yeah he's enthusiastic that's what you got to worry about you got to match enthusiasm with him by doing the same thing back to him making an even fight Oya with a little right hand inside as Mosley grabs his left arm. Shane standing right in front of De La Oya. Daring Oscar to try to stiffen him with his power. Now Mosley backs up and then comes straight forward again. Rips Oscar with the left hook. That's the speed of foot and hand embodied in one move. As he moved away from De La Hoya and jumped in with the left hook. Now you see, Mosley is slapping with his left jab because he understands the speed of De La Hoya. But De La Hoya is trying to spin his around for power. He just can't do it with a fast opponent. De La Hoya with the left hook to the body. First time he's landed to Mosley's ribcage. But Shane Mosley landing early and more often than De La Hoya appeared to control the first round. As we go to Oscar De La Hoya's corner, when Robert Alcazar speaks Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Okay, don't, don't try to be so hard. Be easy on him. Be, and use the jab. Don't go so hard. Use a little more rhythm. You've been, be a little more cool in there. Use your, your jab. A little more jab. And be first. You see that? Than I thought he was. That's what he was seeing in his eyes. Continue with the right body shots. Keep with the jab. Like I said, don't let him get set. He's trying to get set. Suck him in. He's coming forward. What's the Mosey right hand as it goes right over and around De La Hoya's guard? Get out. Let's go. And a little left hook to the body to follow up as well. Punch stat numbers in round number one. CompuBox saw it as a Mosley wipeout. Mosley, 25 out of 67 in the first round. De La Hoya, 9 of 49. De La Hoya, only 3 of 27 on his jab. It was falling short. Mosley, 13 of 44 jabs. If you look at the numbers, Shane won the first round. Shane switches southpaw, now switches back to the conventional stands. De La Hoya left hook to the body. Think about Oscar De La Hoya. Few fighters would pay the price to stay in shape like he's done. One fight after another. Look at his body. He's Look at paid. the big shoulders. He's paid the price. The boy is in shape. He can take what you got. He's going to be there for a while. So you better pace yourself if you're Shane Mosley. George De La Hoya looked drawn and starched yesterday as though he had trained extremely hard for this fight. The 24 hours he had to recover from the weigh-in could have been critical to him. Well, you know, a fighter 
fighting for a fight like this, you, you can expect him to overtrain a little bit. You got to almost manage that overtrain to make certain that he's just where he want to be. And don't let him go too far over there. If he's fighting in his hometown like this, expect him to be a little overtrained for good reasons. Both fighters settled into a slightly more relaxed groove in round number two. Oscar starting to touch with his right hand just a little bit. And Oscar gets the left hook to the body in again and misses just short with the left hook up top. And Oscar's aiming that left hook to the body now. If he hits two hooks to the body, Shane is going to be a different fighter. In his last fight, three months ago in Madison Square Garden, Delo, he has scorched Daryl Coley with the left hook to the body. It may be the most dominant weapon in the welterweight division. Mosley cornered, Deloya hits him with a left hook, Mosley comes back with a body hook of his own. Uh, Delahoy was able to touch him for the first time on top of the head with his left jab. That's important, if you want to turn things around, start touching him with your left jab. Mosley leads with the right hand and then spins away. Deloya crosses, sets up a right and a left to the body. Much better second round for Deloya than the first. Gets the left hook into the pit of Mosley's stomach one more time. Oscar Deloya has landed that left hook to the body a half dozen times or more in this round. And, and you can Mosley change. has slowed down. You can change Mosley right quick if you start hitting him in the stomach with those left hooks. And that's what Delahoya is aiming on doing. No but question. you got to watch this guy. He is seasoned Shane Mosley. Anytime he can unlash a right hand, that will drop you. A better round for De La Hoya. Much better. Oscar, every time he gets here, you throw the combination. He'll go back. When you finish your, okay. your combination, go to the side. That's it. Right hand left hook to the body. Bam, bam. You're doing good. You're, you're catching him. You're breaking this rhythm. And you're tying him up whenever you need to. Uh, going into the fourth round, you start breaking him down. But you got to start going to the body when you're inside. Okay? And you can kind of smother his punches. You want to keep doing the end his punches. So you can smother his punches when you get him on the inside. And go and get your body shots off. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Comp your box numbers. Round two. A total reversal of round number one. This time it was De La Hoya who doubled up Mosley, landing 22 punches to only 11 for Shane. De La Hoya, 7 of 21 jabs in the second round. Much more effective. Shane Mosley puts his right hand up for that left hook. It's right there. He's watching to catch Oscar and beat him to the punch with his left hook. And he knows, he knows De La Hoya is so conscious of wanting to be offensive with the left hook and he can land his right hand lead, which has been effective for him so far. Momentarily buckled De La Hoya with the right hand, but De La Hoya is, appears to be all right. The De La Hoya supporters, those who believe Oscar is going to win this fight, most of them don't think Shane Mosley has the strength to hurt Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya is making a mistake following this guy around without jabbing or anything. He's not doing anything. Jab, do something. Don't just follow him because he's going to hit you. So much Mosley. psychology between two men who've known each other for 20 years. It's almost as if De La Hoya wants to say to Mosley, I don't respect you. There's that right hand right over top of that left hook because Oscar has his left hook hand cocked for the uh, left hook. Mosley's making him pay. He's staying over to his left, not shying away from his power punch. And firing right hand leads across the top of Oscar's left glove. Now Shane is even getting closer, as the dad said, to smother the shots. Oscar tripling up the left hook, trying to get to Mosley's body. Battle lines clearly drawn. Mosley's right hand lead and combination punching against De La Hoya's left hook. And he has, he has Oscar reaching out. Oscar's got the snap out. Don't reach out. Snap your shot. Don't reach out.
There you go. He's following him around. He's not doing anything. Mosley lands the right and then wrestles De La Hoya to the canvas. A lot of that was a weakness of that little, the slight chop on the side of the head. A lot of that caused some weakness to De La Hoya's legs. You don't want him to miss. De La Hoya with a quick little left inside. Mosley shuffling his feet. Sugar Shane throwing Mosley one punch at a time. Hard right hand by Mosley. Deloya comes back with a left hook. Straight right hand by Deloya. <laughs> of course, it's not just fighter against fighter here. Mosley is like a mongoose. Sits there and watches everything and then takes a swing at whatever he sees. Haven't heard that word in boxing since Archie Moore was fighting. And a look at Joel De La Hoya Sr. Sits at ringside, wears a suit, but regarded by most observers as being the most influential man in De La Hoya's corner, even when he's sitting 20 feet away. Oscar, you need to put some distance between you guys. Get the distance. In these next uh, rounds coming up, he's getting tired. Keep the pressure. I mean, you're going back, but you're still firing back. Pretty soon, at some point. There you see the right hand that slightly buckled De La Hoya. Now, the jab has not been a factor in this fight, as many people anticipated. It's been the power punches that have dominated the fight so far. Well, they, they start out boxing, but you can see that both guys are itching to fight. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim, I got a 2-1, 29-28, Oscar De La Hoya. Jim, in the first round, certainly Shane Mosley with, with that straight right hand, but since then, Oscar's walking him down, and somehow or another just appears to be the stronger guy in those real hard left jabs and tremendous left hooks. So, Oscar De La Hoya, 2-1. I have Mosley 2-1. So do I. And incidentally, copy box numbers in round three favored De La Hoya, who was seen to land 23 punches to only 12 for Mosley. But some judges may good have left hook to the body. right hands. Yep, good left hook to the body by De La Hoya. Right to the pit of the sun. Now he gets one back himself. Mosley going in with the left hook to the body. Mosley is known as the guy that if you hit me hard, I'm going to hit you hard. Two back. big right hands for Mosley. De La Hoya holds the back of his head as if to say he's hitting me behind the ear. De La Hoya is a clean fighter. No doubt about it. He's a clean fighter. Shane is playing cat and mouse, but he's playing with the wrong guy this time. De La Hoya can hit, and he's never out of the fight. De La Hoya with a left hook upstairs. Right cross partially blocked. That right hand partially blocked by the De La Hoya glove. Shane is doing a good job of throwing on top of Oscar's left hand to make him think defense rather than throwing that shot. That right hand lead is designed to occupy De La Hoya's left hand or go over the top of it. Well, you want to go on top to make him think, I better throw right hands and forget about my left hook. If De La Shane is moving to his right now as if to say, Oscar, make, throw some rights. I expected more hand speed and fluidity from Mosley. I expected more jabbing from De La Hoya. It's becoming more of a brawl than I think anybody would have expected at this point. Oh. Big right hand for De La Hoya. De La Hoya doesn't want to start slinging right hands. That was a story about him wrapping tape around his hands early on in the ring. In the dressing room, that means he's got knuckle problems. Protection. So you don't want to start slinging punches. You're going to get your hands broken. We broke. When you when you have knuckle problems, you want to keep the pipes the punches tight, short, and on the inside. That's right? right. Whenever I hear a report in my the opposite dress room about the fighter doing something to his hands, that means they are hurt. They trade shots again at center ring, and now it's Mosley digging a left hook to the center of Deloya's body, and Deloya answering with a right across the top. Round 
before it comes to a close. Very quickly, Harold Letterman, the rule about rabbit punting. Jim, that's what Oscar De La Hoya is complaining about. When Shane Mosley throws that right hand, he loops it around to the back of Oscar De La Hoya's head. And when you hit a guy in a brainstem, it's very dangerous. That's what we call a rabbit punch. Extremely dangerous. De La Hoya grabbed the back of his head to indicate that the referee is being rabbit punched. Respira, descansa, vamos. Okay, take a breath. Use, use your jab. You got to be using that jab. You've been working for this all your life. Back to the body, back to the side. When you pull out, you're pulling out with your chin up a little bit. You throw them combinations. You throw them combinations. Roll out of there. Don't, don't pull back with your chin up like that. Okay? Please don't. It's the right hand that Mosley has been most effective. Inside, short, hard right hand, and perhaps De La Hoya hasn't been throwing his left quite so much because he's continually nailed by that right hand, George. Well, for good reasons. You're not throwing it much. You keep throwing the left one. Stick the jab out there. Make this guy protect himself from it. Then he won't be so apt to throw over top. One pattern emerging in CompuBox numbers for the last two rounds. De La Hoya has been throwing more punches than Mosley. And you heard Jack Mosley say to his son, you've waited all your life for this. Don't slow down. Go in and keep punching. Mosley's beating De La Hoya to the jab for the first time. And that's what De La Hoya doesn't want. You don't want this guy thinking he can jab better than you. You got to point that thing at him. Don't wait to spin it. Point it. the right hand lead again for Mosley not as much steam on it as was the case in the earlier rounds Mosley get up against the rope sometimes he'll jab out of there sometimes he'll punch out of there Deloy a double left kick to the body comes back with the third one to the pit of the stomach Mosley fires the right hand lead again then remembers his own left foot to the body as his father asked him to do <laughs> Mosley's got to make certain that Oscar ends his punching with his right hand and not that left hook that's where he can get caught One, two, three, but make it the last punch be the right hand. Hard right uppercut by Mosley, landed on the point of Deloia's chin. Oscar fires a right hand of his own. But it's all in retaliation. It's Mosley who's initiating the contact. Right hand to the body by Mosley. Deloia answers with his left. Shane borderline low with that right hand. The referee is keeping a good eye on those low blows because he's understanding that most are not intentional. Delahoy, you got to start the jab. Start the jab. Mosley landed the right. Delahoy landed a bigger left. Mosley wobbled by the left hook from Delahoy. And Shane steps in and grabs Oscar around the waist. There was the punching power of Delahoy. Mosley getting caught by a left hook as he was opening up offensively himself. Relax, relax, yeah, relax. Now the jab is starting to come from Oscar. It's a good jab. You can almost see Oscar's Another good jab rising as the fight goes on. Even though Mosley's landing and landing a lot, Oscar seems to feel more and more secure about what he can do. When he's using his left jab, he's in control. When he stops using it, James. Okay. James, as long as he comes forward, that's fine. When he gets in range, hit him. He's in range. Okay? But don't tighten up when you do it. Relax and let them punches flow. You'll never get your arms will never get tired. You understand? You just gotta relax when you do those punches. Let your body. Hey, listen. Let your body do the work, all right? You don't have no problem. Those body shots are getting to him. Oscar, keep working, and you got to use that jab. Make sure you put your left foot forward, Oscar. Whatever happens in this fight, people who haven't seen Shane Mosley before are seeing a magnificent, versatile fighter. And now De La Hoya, who took this fight for a challenge and is obviously trained up to the challenge, lands his own.
combination. In round five, by CompuBox numbers, Shane Mosley landed 13 of 17 power shots. Very efficient. But Oscar De La Hoya threw 30 power shots and landed 12 of his. De La Hoya enjoying more and more freedom in the ring against Mosley. And as George Foreman points out, when Oscar jabs, he rules. Mosley seemed to have that, that right hand set for the return of Oscar's left hook. But he's catching more and more left jabs by Oscar. That could start hurting his back. If you start hurting your back, you can't move too well. And that stiff jab of Oscar will break your back. Mosley does a good job of leaping in left hooks, and for some reason he doesn't do it. Whenever he leaps one in, he catches it. Would he be that worried about Oscar's right hand? Oh, he just should, should, when you're doing something good, you may as well do it. If you haven't trained to do it, don't do it. As promised, De La Hoya has continually applied the pressure in this fight. Yes. Very often in the past, he said one thing, he says he'll do one thing and not the other thing. He's been true to his word so far in this fight. Absolutely. And you can see that Posley, with his speed and fluidity, can succeed some when he gets inside. But he has to go into the jaws of the lion to do it. He has to accept the jeopardy of De La Hoya's left hook. No better said. You accepted this challenge, you've got to fight. He's not going to give it to you. you just got to go out there and get it. You're not going to outbox him. You're going to have to fight him. Okay, if you make that please, decision in any round, you can win a title. If you think you're going to outbox a well-proven fighter like De La Hoya, you're wrong. You're going to have to fight him. Mosley more and more measured. De La Hoya with more and more freedom as time goes by. De La Hoya's range in the ring and apparently superior punching power more and more factors in the bout. Mosley not throwing nearly as many combinations as was the case in earlier rounds and not landing his lead right hand with regularity anymore. Oscar Bach blocked both those body punches with his elbows. Now, if you're, if you're fighting a guy and he blocks two body punches with his elbows, you might say to yourself, go upstairs. He's having to deal with some power in the boxing ring that he's never dealt with before with Shane Mosley. Absolutely. This body punch is coming from Oscar. I like heavyweight, light heavyweight. Well, that's exactly what one of their common opponents said. Jesse James Leha, who fought both men, said, here's the difference. Oscar punches like a heavyweight. He's got nothing. All he's got is his right hand. That's all you have to watch out for. He's got nothing. The, only, the right hand is all you have to worry about. Eloy is output generally rising as the fight goes on. You can see 67 punches thrown in the sixth round. That's the most he's thrown. Mosley's punch output dropping gradually as the fight goes on, a sign that Shane is increasingly wary about risking what he has to risk to get inside. All right, just relax. So the tactical war through six rounds is gradually going in favor of De La Hoya. But Mosley's had his moments. Round six was a big one for Oscar. This is as good as we've seen Oscar in a very long time. He's obviously very, very keyed and ready for this kind of fight. Rising to the occasion, Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, four rounds to two, 58, 56, Oscar De La Hoya. You know, Jim, early in the fight, when Oscar De La Hoya would throw a left jab, Shane Mosley would hit him with right hand over the left jab. In the last couple of rounds, Shane hasn't done it at all. Oscar keeps shuffling forward, flat-footed, landed the power shots. De La Hoya doing all the damage. I have it three rounds apiece. Okay, step back, step back, step back. But the tide is going toward De La Hoya. No question. Now, De La Hoya can't be still. You've got to do something. And Mosley, with the beginnings of a comeback here, 
as he starts to release his hands again. Mosley is looking for something to take confidence in. Oscar give him one little thing, he's going to exploit it. So Oscar's better keep moving, keep hitting. Mosley going back to his jab momentarily, but not throwing it with a lot of conviction. Still looking to throw that right hand lead, but more and more reluctant to do so. Great head movement, shoulder movement by Mosley there. Ducks inside and lands a left hook. Now get ready for the right hand. Mosley's been setting it up all night, trying to find a way to throw it in there. Left hook lands for Mosley on the point of Deloya's chin. Oscar taking the punch unflinchingly. Deloya attacking to the body. Right, left. Oh, right, left. Right, right. Oh, but the body punching that Oscar is doing. Absolutely. You just can't have power as the fight go on being hit like this constantly. Body, 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 and then the left jab right in the face. Mosley comes back and busts Oscar with the right hand. Oscar steps through it again and keeps coming. After a Delaware left to the pit of the stomach. You see when Mosley leaps in with any shot, he seems never to miss. If that's what you can do, keep doing it. It's a real fight, ladies and gentlemen. A sizzling fight. It makes Delaware Trinidad look like a slow walk in the park. Well, Delaware and Trinidad brought out the worst in each other. I think these fighters are bringing out the better, best in each other. Good big left hook by Delahoya. Mosley comes through it and keeps going. Both fighters had their moments in round seven. We gotta keep working that jab. We want more jabs. We gotta keep working. Do, do your thing. You're gonna see. You're scoring points. Respira. Respira. Descansa. Vamos. I can see it. Double hooking. But just relax when you do it. You don't have to tighten up with your muscles when you do it. Just relax and do it. Get those points. You know what I mean? We can't let the stand be close. My back got a little tight too. I know it, but you can't let the stand be close. You gotta, you gotta work. Good body shot by De La Hoya, catching a right hand in return. Both fighters exploiting each other's aggression. Shane Mosley complaining to his father that his back is tightening up. And you see him stretching as he comes out of his corner. George Foreman pointing out, you tighten a man's back when you keep pounding his chin with your jab. That stiff left jab, that's what it does. That's what Muhammad Ali did to torture Floyd Patterson one night back in the 60s. Yeah, your back will just give out. It's that stiff jab on and on and on. And Shane was not aware of that kind of effect on him because he's never been stiff jab before. Oscar will hurt you with his left hand. Shane Mosley has scarcely ever been hurt in the ring. He's never really been threatened in his 34 fights. Never knocked down pro or amateur. So already Mosley has faced more pressure and more danger in this fight than at any other time in his boxing career. Now Oscar's allowing Shane Mosley to relax and circle him without his back touching the rope. You want, if he's gonna circle, you make his back touch the rope. And the pattern which continued in round seven, Mosley throwing 45 punches, Deloya throwing 67. There's that dive in, jump in left hook. Another Floyd Patterson reference. Big left hook, Deloya. Mosley tries to retaliate to the body. Oscar pulling his head back as though he thinks Shane was trying to butt him. Mosley trying to energize himself while Deloya rips him with a right and a left. That's that stiff jab. Oh, but a right hand by Mosley. But just as he has all fight long, so far he's walked right through Mosley's best punches.
Mosley stays in a southpaw stance, and peppers Delaoya with the right hand. Crowd responding to the new action as Mosley throws from a new position. Zane trying to set up a big left. De La Hoya has sometimes turned southpaw in the past. And now De La Hoya starts to mix in straight right hands as Mosley stays in the southpaw stance. Mosley's got to get in that stance and win some rounds. He's waiting and waiting and playing the punches game. Just, that's not a good idea. Now, Larry, you never think it's a good idea for a fighter to switch to a stance opposite from the one in which he does his best work. What do you think of what Shane's doing here? Well, Mosley's an unusual fighter in that he can fight very effectively, but, it, but I think sometimes it indicates a certain confusion and weakness and you're, and you're looking for something that you can't find in what you do best. Could he be trying to take away Oscar's left hook with this stance? I just think that's what he does. He switches. He's a switch hitter. He does it, out, he does it in the ring and practice. That's what he does. Dane trying to play to the crowd a little bit as Joel looks. Joel De La Hoya, Oscar's dad, looks on impassively. You gotta keep calm, just relax. Throw the jabs, get in your rhythm. You gotta keep work with, and work in the finer things that you know. Something going. And another thing, you only got three more rounds to go, Shane. You can't leave it in the hands of the judges. We gotta, uh, we gotta close the show. If you don't knock him out, you still gotta close the show with the most points. So get on your toes, boxing, boxing, look spectacular. Drop a hard shot in there every now and then. But don't forget the body. But we gotta close the show so we can win. Jack Mosley telling his son that he's only got three rounds to go. Here comes the ninth round. He's got four rounds to go. Well, he's trying to step up the urgency of, of Mosley because he's trying to take Oscar De La Hoya's title. And Harold Letterman's card is even through eight. Mosley did throw more points punches than De La Hoya for the first time in several rounds in frame eight and landed more as well, according to CompuBox numbers. A little trickle of blood from De La Hoya's nose. Right hand by Mosley. Mosley freeing himself up a little bit more now, perhaps sensing that he might be behind in the fight, taking a couple more chances. His dad told him to move around, box, every now and then jump in a hard shot, but to win these things on court. If ever there was a father, son, trainer, fighter combination that worked, it's Jack and Shane Mosley. They have instinctive communication and total respect for one another. De Hoya gets his mouthpiece back in. The trickle of blood continues. Not terribly significant at this point. Shane is just trying to get a little closer and a little closer. Every time he does, De Hoya goes in and dig a body shot. You got to get close to do what Shane Mosley has in mind. They trade again. Mosley lands a right hand. Eloya walks right through it. Shane lands a jab. Oscar comes back with a three-punch combination. Right hand lands for Mosley. And he gets out of the way, which is very important. You hit him, you got to move out of the way because he's going to hit you back. This time he took the left hook in return for the right. Another left hook for Deloya. Mosley steps in with his own left. Brilliant toe-to-toe -to -toe action. In the middle of the ring in round nine. Now Shane Mosley is stepping up to the challenge. Mike cost him, but he's stepping up. Well, as we said earlier on, who's going to dare to be great? Who's going to be bolder? Whenever he jumps in, he does well. I think they both dared to be great. Big left hand by Mosley. Oscar De La Hoya on phase. Mosley landing again. Mosley's fluidity and combination punching carrying the day in round nine. Crowd rises to support both fighters. De La Hoya steps in again. 
Now Oscar's got to get his head up. He's bending down, dropping his left hand, trying to dig in with some hooks. Pick your hands up, stand up a little straighter, and stay out of harm's way. And Mosley staying busy, busy, busy with the jab. As Delo in his steps in and pounds to the body, and Lou Moret says, watch the rabbit punches. Ten seconds to go in the round. In a moment, Shane Mosley's going to be taking the lead on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Now there are three rounds to go. And the drama thickens in Staples Center. Give me some Vaseline. You can't wait that long. You can't wait that long to go to his body. He's right here in front of him. Yes, you can. You're not bothering the wing to get over there. You just stand right here like this. Okay? Everything is perfect. Oscar, you're going to push him back now. Okay. No problem. Oscar, sigue trabajando. Ponle ritmo. Oscar, keep working. Okay. You got to get in your rhythm. Keep it going. Mosley said they were going to be doing some serious soul searching in this fight. And the soul searching has begun. Round nine, a huge one for Shane, who landed 37 of 76 punches by CompuBox numbers. De La Hoya almost as good at 25 out of 68. Mosley, 20 of 32 power shots in his biggest round of the fight. Harold Letterman, how do you have it three quarters of the way through? That makes him 86, 85, five rounds to four. Sugar Shane Mosley. Jim, I think that hand speed is bothering Oscar De La Hoya. I think Shane Mosley certainly went round seven, eight, and nine to pull ahead in this fight. It's getting close though. I have it five to four for Mosley as well. But remember, it's Oscar De La Hoya's title, and he's the one that's been coming forward. And so some of these rounds could go to him. And remember that in apparently very close fights against Bernal Whitaker and Ike Quarte, Oscar got shockingly large margins on two out of three scorecards both times. Judges can be swayed by star power. No boxer has more star power on the current scene than Oscar De La Hoya. But also De La Hoya should be jabbing, and when he's not jabbing, throwing combination or staying out of harm's way. Big right you hand by De La Hoya. close and just oh, not oh, do oh, anything. Let him go. One thing is evident here. Neither fighter has been able to really hurt the other fighter with clean punches. Oscar has never been a big puncher in the welterweight division, a good puncher, what I call a triples hitter, not a home run hitter. Oscar's getting the right hand in, oh, he doesn't have confidence in his right hand, it's his left hook that he wants to get in there. Mosley with a left hook to the body, Oscar with a straight right to the body. Let him go, step back, step back, step back. Sugar Shane, his spirits clearly lifted by his success in the past three rounds. Standing at center ring and taking De La Hoya's right hand shot. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let him go. Moses Let him is not go. even backing away anymore. He's standing right there on the pivot. Well, I think it took him a while to, to gather the confidence to believe that he can take De La Hoya's stuff, but he believes it now. But, but I also believe, uh, Jim and George, that he felt that De La Hoya would slow down in the last third of the fight. As he did against Trinidad. De La Hoya acknowledging to us yesterday that he was fatigued against Trinidad and it affected his thought process in the last three rounds. Mosley lands that looping right hand again. De La Hoya strikes him with a left. Now Shane is getting the better of the left jabs. Three straight stiff left jabs by Mosley. And suddenly Shane's jab is quicker. De La Hoya misses with the left hook. Mosley steps back in with the jab and lands it. Another round, which could have gone to the challenger, Shane Mosley. Shane, I'm going to him with the body shot. I, I keep telling you that. Keep, you got to go back to the body. But the, get on your toes, boxing, boxing, boxing. Look. Get on your toes, boxing, boxing, boxing. Back to the body. When you get in there, tired with it, you know, roll your shoulders and go to the body. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. 
Dos rounds más. We got two more rounds. That's all we need. That's all we have. Look at those numbers. Show you're in your rhythm. What a fight. What a close contest between two terrific fighters. Round 10 CompuBox numbers, Mosley, 34 out of 52. 65%, including 18 of 26 power shots, 16 of 26 jabs. De La Hoya, 19 of 58, 33%. Not a bad round in the numbers, just not close to what Mosley was able to do in the eyes of CompuBox. A statistical profile, profile, not the be-all and end-all. Well, remember, De La Hoya, at his best, steps it up at the end of the fight. Down the stretch they come. Championship rounds. Shane Mosley gets closer and closer. Oscar never should have allowed him to get that close. If he's that close, hit him. You can't just wait on the quicker man. But suddenly, Oscar does not look as quick as he did early in the fight. Oh. And he's reaching. That's what happens when you go in a training camp with fast fighters, but the fighter you're fighting is even quicker. Well, there's nobody at 147 pounds who's as quick as Shane Mosley. There's just nobody you can spar with who would prepare you for this. There's no way. You're just stepping into uncertainty. But you just got to win rounds. Don't be cautious. Even if you miss, keep throwing punches. Oscar should be doing. Don't allow this boy to just sit on a, unattended to. Do something. Mosley stepping in with the left hook of the body and then grabbing Deloy and wrapping him up. Oscar looking for range to try to go back to dominating with the jab. Oscar's left hook less and less of a factor in recent rounds. You step into my parlor, that's the kind of fight Mosley is doing now. He steps back a little bit, allows Oscar to come forward, and he throws something. Deloy is missing with together. two right hands. Finally gets a right hand to the body. Mosley steps into the southpaw stance. Very hard for Oscar to land the left hook when Shane is in that position. Oscar lands a straight right hand. He won the Whitaker fight with straight right hands when his left hook was totally nullified. Mosley goes back to his conventional stance. De La Hoya with a right hand to the body. De La Hoya's hands a little slow at this moment. Mosley getting a little breather. De La Hoya rips him with a combination. You can see that both fellas Fellows are pretty compassionate as far as one another is concerned. They they like, they they like each other. They're sportsmen. They like each other. Old friends. They both acknowledged before the fight this is friend against friend. They both said it didn't mean it wouldn't be a great fight. Shane is strictly counter-punching there, waiting for Oscar to drop something, anything. One expectation that some of us had coming into the fight was that Shane Mosley might hit Oscar De La Hoya more often than De La Hoya has ever been hit in a fight. Now that is fulfilled, as you can see, Mosley already landing 239 punches. That's more than De La Hoya has ever taken before. And you can't let him out point you. If he touch you, you got to come back with two, three jabs. You don't have to be hard, but you got to box him. But if you see a good shot, take it. And and the last round, be careful now. Very be careful now. We need this round. Okay, Oscar. All right, Oscar, this is it. We need this round. Go out there. The box man, he's tired. He's waiting for this end. He's smart. He's making this decision, but he's not. You heard conflicting uh, advice from De La Hoya's corner. Be careful that you need this round. But I'm not really sure what Alcazar meant to commit. Well, but I think at the end he was right. You need this round. This is the first time in his career that Shane Mosley has gone to the 12th round. Second time in his career. He went 12 rounds with Philip Holiday three years ago. Oh. 
Nothing to save it for now, George. No, it's all or nothing right now. I saw this is a close fight. This is a close fight. Blood and coming out of the to take the fight. Oh. All right, there's going to be a delay now because of slipperiness on the Budweiser oh, patch. Over there, over there. Tiny trickle of blood from over the left there. nostril of Del Oya. I'm sorry, here. George, what were you saying? Let's get a towel in. Let's this get a towel. One of those fights that, oh, oh, Shane Mosley was small. He came from, he came out of the middle of the, of the uh, uh, ring and got into the side oh. of it. Oscar stayed out in the middle and slipped. And now they both seem to be helped by the referee grind things up. Two minutes to go. Brilliant Jackson in LA's biggest fight ever. Big right hand by Mosley. Another big right hand by Shane. Deloria trying to make his left hook count. Mosley bombing away with the right. Both of them daring to be great. Both going for the knockout in a classic pitch battle. Brown on its feet. 20,000 people standing and watching. Oscar's hurt in the body. Now to the head, he's hurt. Jane Mosley is out hustling Oscar Deloy. Out working him, out fighting him when it matters most. You know, the word in the gyms is that Oscar doesn't like to get hit. But he has stuck his nose in there, he's stuck his jaw in there, and he has taken some heavy shots. And he has fought like a warrior tonight, whatever the result. Big time courage from both fighters. And the crowd stands and applauds. Wait, wait, wait. The bad memory of the Trinidad fight is totally erased. This has been a war. Both of these fighters will come out of this fight elevated. No question. Big right hand by Mosley. Final postscript on what looks like it might be an upset victory for Sugar Sane. Fight. The fight we had hoped for, it lived up to its expectations. Exceeded, exceeded expectations. <laughs> By CompuBox numbers in round 12, Sugar Shane Mosley outlanded Oscar De La Hoya 45 to 18. What an effort by Shane. Shane Mosley. Jim, after round six, I mean, Shane Mosley's hand speed just had Oscar De Loya baffled. He'd walk forward, hands apart, Mosley would stick that left jab in his face. Shane Mosley was the quicker guy. At the end, De La Hoya was battered and bruised. If Shane Mosley don't win his title, give Oscar De La Hoya's career to A.J. Benzer. George, what did you think? I think it was a great fight. Tremendous. Oscar found someone to out-hustle him in the last rounds where he could have gotten going for a knockout. He was in with a faster guy who was not going to be still for a good shot. But it was a good fight, and that's what we came here for. This I, a good it was a fight. tremendous fight, and I, I totally agree with Larry Merchant. Both fighters should be elevated by their performances here. It was a tremendous battle between the two young men who've known each other for 20 years. So who won? Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. 
Lou Filippo scores the bout, 116-112. He has it for Mosley. Marty Salmon scores it, 115 to 113. He has it for De La Hoya. Pat Russell scores it, 115 to 113 for the winner by split decision. And new welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shay. A logical conclusion to a spectacular evening in Staples Center. Shane Mosley gets the split decision that he appeared to deserve in the fight. Final punch stat numbers. And remember that halfway through, De La Hoya was pulling away from Mosley in terms of both punches landed and punches thrown. But by the end of the fight, Mosley's rally leaves him landing 27 more punches than Oscar, though he threw 40 less. 42% connect percentage for Mosley. So what happened in the jab department? Both fighters for much of the fight dispensed with their jabs. Deloy in the middle rounds dominated with his. Then Mosley brought his jab back to life in the late rounds and it helped to fuel his rally. And finally, power punches. And wait till you see the astonishing connect percentage for Shane Mosley, who according to CompuBox, landed 57% of his hooks crosses, uppercuts, and body shots. A brilliant performance, particularly in the late rounds, as Mosley built the crescendo and gained the victory. And Larry Merchant is with the winner and new welterweight champion, Shane Mosley. All right, thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Shane. You said that you both of you were gonna dig deep and do some soul searching. Just how deep did you have to dig tonight? What? Well, you can see in the 12th round, we both stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and we both went soul-searching to see who was the real champion. De La Hoya showed he was a great champion. He sit there and he fought with me for the whole 12 rounds. I fought for him the whole 12 rounds. I even rocked him a couple of times, and he stayed up. He wobbled a little bit, he stayed up, and he still kept fighting. He's a true champion. <laughs> Much was made of his power. Did he ever hurt you? Well, like I told you, I'm a lot stronger at 47. Uh, you know, he has nice, crisp, crisp, sharp shots, but I really never was dazed, really, in the fight. But I did know if I stood there too long, he could catch me and probably hurt me. Was he better than you even expected? Because he seemed to be on top of his game throughout the fight. No, he was very sharp, and he was fighting great. You know, I, my back got a little tight in the mid-round, so Dice I kind of uh, stopped him. And uh, I really didn't bother as much. But, you know, I loosened up a little bit later in the round, man. You know, I, like I said, I had to go soul searching. I had to, I had to show the world that I was prepared to fight in the 12th round. Win or lose or draw. I want them to know that I'm a true warrior. Oh, you laid it on him. Yeah. Why were you finding him so easily with your right hand? Well, I think because he wanted to throw that left hook so bad. Uh, De La Hoya was doing something very nice. Every time I stepped in with left hook, he stepped inside with a left body shot. So I had to keep watching him when I threw my left hook. He was doing that very well. I mean, he's a great warrior, great champion. Uh, I was just a better man tonight. You're, you're on the, what does this mean to you in terms of all of your dreams since you were a little boy in the gym pointing to this night? This means a lot to me because I showed the world who Sugar Shane Mosley was deep inside. I'm a true champion just as well as he's a true champion. There's a rematch clause in your contract as I understand it. Do you think this big crowd will want to see that again? Well, I think so. I mean, yeah, being yeah. at the fight was that close. De La Hoya's in there warring. I was in there warring. And we just put on a spectacular fight. It showed that we had two great warriors in here from California, from the L.A. area, that are best in the world. And De La Hoya proved that he's one of the best in the world. Thank you very much, okay. Thank Sugar you. Shane Mosley. Let me say one thing. I just want to say, oh, hold, one moment. Jack Mosley would like to say something. And, and I think on this uh, magnificent say, occasion, we ought to give him a shot. I, 
Thank you, Larry. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, TVKO, HBO, all the people who made this fight possible, especially the Oscar family and their staff. Uh, I want to say thanks to my family for all the support for Shane and everybody else who came to support us. All, all right, Jack. Thanks to P Town. P Town is definitely in the house. Baby. All right, Jim. We'll be right back with us. And hey, while we're talking about the people who made the fight possible, the primary person who made this fight possible was Oscar De La Hoya. He was willing to take the fight despite having much more to lose than Mosley. And because of that sportsmanship on De La Hoya's part, we all got to enjoy this magnificent evening. There were the scores. Filippo 116-112, just like Harold Letterman for Shane Mosley. Russell 115-113, also for Mosley. And Salmon 115-113 for Oscar De La Hoya, who fought brilliantly and with heart, and who stands by with Larry Merchant right now. Okay, Oscar. Uh, come on, come on, come a, ter on, a terrific fight. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, can you express your disappointment at the result? I'm not disappointed. I, we had a great fight, but uh, what can I say? What Why I wouldn't say? you be disappointed? Uh, because um, we put on a good show, and uh, you know he was very prepared. He's a great fighter, a great person. I said it all along, and. Um, I guess it went his night, <laughs> his way. Do you feel that you redeemed yourself in the eyes of the public, your fans, well, for the way you fought tonight? People, people know I have a big heart. People know I can fight. But it's all about doing it smart. If people want to see a good warrior up in that ring, I showed it tonight. You said that you would put continual pressure on him much as you put pressure on yourself by taking this fight to start with and you did that was it the correct strategy well people know and uh, everybody around the world knows that I fight the best and fight all comers and uh, I give everybody an opportunity um, that's what a great champion's all about what about him surprised you um, no surprises whatsoever actually I knew he was fast uh, I was matching his speed he's a uh, He's a great champion. I give him all the credit in the world. Why was he able to reach you with so many right hands? That's his. Uh, that was his main strategy, actually. And um, he's a fast fighter. I give him. A, I praise him. He's. A, he's a world champion. What can I say? I. We have. We've had a hell of a fight, and uh, more power to him. What about? What about your power? Everybody thought you would be able to put so much pressure and hurt on him that you would eventually get to him. Were you surprised how he dealt with your power? Well, I was very surprised actually. He's a, he's a very strong fighter and um, he's a, a fighter who keeps on coming and is in great shape, great conditioning. So uh, he was prepared tonight. To meet this challenge, it seemed to me that you were as good as we've seen you before. Do you feel that you didn't leave anything outside this and you gave your best effort? Well, I gave, I gave a, a good effort and um, I, I gave a great fight and people got their money's worth and I'm very happy that uh, people are very satisfied. You have a rematch clause in your contract. You want the rematch. Well, of course, it has to happen. Um, I'm going to rethink, uh, rethink my uh, game plan because uh, Shane Mosley sidetracked me a bit. But uh, there has to be a rematch. I mean, a great fight deserves another great rematch. I think we'll see it. Thank you very much for a terrific fight, Oscar. Jim. All right. First of all, what a couple of great sportsmen. Oh, what boy. a couple of real men. The whole fight was a nice, clean boxing match, and that's something seldom seen. Yeah. Embraced afterwards, I love it. No, I love it, it. it was great. Uh, and a, uh, a big decision now waiting for De La Hoya. Actually, there isn't much of a decision. It doesn't make sense to go up now and try to fight Trinidad at 150 or 154. You've got a huge fight at 147 when you get this rematch with Mosley, so that, I would think, would be what Oscar would say. I think that Oscar should take a cruise to Europe then go into South America and enjoy himself and spend some of that cash. <laughs> Leave the fighting for Mosley. Yeah, it's, it's probably not a bad idea. Shane should have some time to solidify his image as the best welterweight fighter in the world, which tonight he most certainly was. Yeah, it was a great fight. We saw speed. Oscar being matched in speed. And Oscar uh, displayed his power as usual. A good fight. Let's go up to our host, James Brown, to close it out. Jim, for those who did not know the name of Shane Mosley outside of the boxing community, they know his name now. Two class guys indeed. And Emmanuel, I must ask you, going back to what you said, when we were right before the main event, you said that Oscar should not have taken this fight. Why? 
Well, I think that he's proven a lot, and it's hard to keep getting emotionally up for all these super fights, and he's had quite a few in the recent years. And Shane Mosley brought so many things into the ring tonight that was bad for a fighter unless he was 100%. He brought speed, but not only did Shane have hand speed, if you notice, he had upper body movement, something that Oscar didn't utilize at all tonight. And Shane was fighting with his legs, moving in and out, springing, where Oscar was just fighting flat-footed, walking in, very little upper body movement, as if he was almost like tired. I know everyone is saying he looked great, but Oscar has a lot more talent than he showed tonight. Well, you mentioned um, Oscar said himself that he would have to rethink his game plan in a rematch. What would happen in your mind in a rematch? Well, I think Shane is going to get better. I think Shane is hungry. He's gotten a little attention, but he wants some more. I know him. If you notice coming into the fight, he was not just confident. He was a happy person coming into the ring. He was just so happy to be here. And I think he enjoys being in the limelight a lot, and he's going to be a much more difficult opponent the next fight. Now we know why Shane Mosley was so calm and confident coming into tonight's bout. Folks, he proved it in the ring. And you know what? Most of you out there agreed with the results that the officials gave here. Here are the results of tonight's online round-by-round -round scoring. Seven to Mosley, five to De La Hoya. You saw it that way as well. And as we reminded you earlier and throughout the broadcast, don't forget you can also catch tonight's post-fight press conference live by logging on to OscarDeLaHoya.com and America Online, keyword TVKO. Destiny has been brought to you by Staples Center, the sports and entertainment center of the world. We're refreshed Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers. This Bud's for you. America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. For more information about this event, visit America Online, keyword TVKO. And by TVKO, pay-per-view entertainment from HBO. We'd like to thank our web partners. In addition to the following magazine partners. For Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, George Foreman, Nick Charles, Harold Letterman, and Emmanuel Stewart, this is James Brown saying so long from Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. The executive producer of TVKO is Ross Greenberg. Tonight's broadcast was produced by Rick Bernstein and directed by Mark Payton. Feature producer Greg Backer. Associate directors Kirby Bradley and Michael Whalen. Assistant to the producer Thomas Huffine. The production manager John McCallie. The technical supervisor, Roy Otake, and the technical director, Douglas Getz. This has been a presentation of TVKO, pay-per-view from HBO.